Today, and why were you able to get free all those times? Oh, well, just the offense in itself, um, cutting and moving. Uh, I knew they would probably put a uh, emphasis on stopping me in the second half. My coach just told me kept screening and cutting and finding the open spots, and that's what I went out there and did. Jester, Je what did you see from the offense? How the, how fun was it to play with a guy on his birthday like this, having a, gay, a day like that? Uh, it was very fun. I mean, pretty much our offense was just, you know, screening, cutting, moving, uh, just passing the ball, making sure everybody gets one touch. And then, I mean, pretty much, you know, Anthony was on fire tonight, so let's get the ball and let him go to work and let him do you know, what he got to do. And obviously he did that. He was unstoppable and had an amazing night, very talented, and led us to victory. When you guys looked at uh, the game plan tonight, Rice obviously came in shooting the, the three a lot. And 15 for 31 from behind the arc, they were putting them up. Did, was there any point in the game today where it was like, if they can just miss one, we can take a breath here, and they just kept sinking them? Well, I mean, yeah, they, they obviously, you know, they made a lot of tough threes, uh, you know, especially uh, was number Marcus Evans, you know, he, he made a lot of tough, you know, difficult threes, contested threes, step back threes. So, I mean, we're just trying to make it as, as much difficult as possible. Uh, but, you know, they're hitting them today and just made it a lot more tough for us. Going through your head when uh, you had to make those three free throws? Uh, just follow through. Um, uh, I, I had no doubt that I was going to go up there and make the free throws, but, um, you know, just make the free throws for my team. And, you know, like you said, the best birthday ever. Tilt. Tilt. <laughs> Justin, what, what kind of grid did this team show down five, uh, I believe, with 45 or so seconds to go? And, and you guys. Obviously, in the huddle and, and really all over the floor, it looked like you guys were definitely in it and knew you were going to win this game. Yeah, unbelievable hard. Uh, you know, the, the previous time I was leading up to that, Coach Beard just reiterated, you know, we're going to win this game, you know, and just making sure everybody had that look in their eyes and, you know, making sure nobody had any doubt, you know, no no doubt in their facial expressions. But I think everybody was very focused. And, you know, Devin Thomas also was, was you know, one of the main guys on the court um, that was saying, you know, we're going to win this game, uh, even after, you know, it wasn't looking too good for us and, you know, people were leaving the stands. But Devin just, you know, stuck with what, you know, he had to say and it was like, we're going to win this game no matter what. Just believe, believe. And, you know, ultimately we came out with the win. So I think, you know, it just shows a true testament of what our team is about and how strong we are as a unit. You guys are still pretty early on in the year trying to uh, acclimate with some newcomers like Anthony. How much does it mean to have one of those newcomers not only have the big night, but then the three free throws in a clutch moment? Uh, to help get the win? Uh, you know, it's, it's awesome, man. Really, you know, when Ant came here, it was, it was kind of, you know, just fast, just really fast acclimating with him and just getting to know him. And, you know, I, I feel like I've, I've known him for years, you know, after two weeks after him being um, at Tech. And uh, that goes with all the newcomers. I feel like we just gelled really well, uh, really fast. And, you know, we went on team retreats and, you know, we go to dinner, go bowling. We just do everything together. And I just feel like that builds our unit, um, you know, given the, you know, over course of time. And, you know, I, I just think, you know, it's just great just to, just to see, you know, this guy have an amazing night and lead us to victory, especially on his birthday. What are you, 27? 20? Anthony, when you after Rice called the timeout, obviously trying to set up a play to, to win the game. What was Coach's message to you guys at that point? Oh, well, um, get a stop, make sure they don't get nothing deep and cheap. Um, Coach emphasized on um, making making sure Zach was over the ball and um, the rest of the guys stayed back for the long pass. So that was really the message at the time out. Don't let them get nothing cheap down the other end of the floor.